Yee-ho! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. The sun is rising, and I am heading south for the day to do some food reviews, and I feel like it's going to be a long day. So many reviews to do, and uh, not a lot of time to do them. But, got a big review here to start the day at Caribou Coffee. Never been before. First time trying it. We'll have to see what we get but uh three coffee beverages and a cake pop which where did I, oh i put the cake pop up here okay so let me see if i can position this well oh yes all right so we're gonna pose for this thumbnail and i ask that you do subscribe to my channel and like and comment on this video look at that that's pretty right i look bad right now though i won't lie i look rough uh, but anyways, so where are we going to start? Well, let's eat. Let's eat a cake pop. And then uh, we'll, we'll move on to the rest of the lineup. So, pretty looking cake pop, mint. I don't know if, it, I think it's got chocolate. We'll have to eat into it to figure that out. But here's their new mint cake pop. Yes. It's a chocolate mint cake pop. I think it's quite good. It's got a really good amount of mint flavor mixed with the chocolate, and it's really fudgy. I would debate better than Starbucks. Of course, Starbucks hasn't done a fun cake pop in a while. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. I wish it was a little more minty. A little more minty. But the fudginess of it, the, the festiveness of it, I'm going to give it uh, an 8 out of 10. Very, very enjoyable. All right. So where do we go to next? Well, let me get a straw or two. And uh, we'll, do, we'll, we'll, we'll stay festive with peppermint and do the uh, mint, ho-ho mint mocha, which is a peppermint mocha. I didn't grab one of their straws. I feel like their straws are probably really pretty. But again, time got away from me, and I'm trying to get down the road here. So, let's try it. That's pretty daggone good. Um... I remember when I went to Wawa a few weeks ago to get their peppermint cream uh, coffee, and they did a really good job. Uh, it really had a strong peppermint presence. This does too, but honestly, I think this is a bit too strong. Yeah, it's kind of overpowering the white chocolate here. Yeah, it's a little strong, but I like it for what it is. Like, you know, it, it's got a good flavor base, and the coffee still undertones of that too. So, if it wasn't so peppermint, I, I, pepperminty, I think I would like this quite a bit more. But I'm really trying to determine what I'd give this. I think the initial burst make it quite enjoyable so i'd still give this like a seven and a half it would um be quite a bit higher of a rating if, if it wasn't just so strong so you know the imbalances here between the cake pop and the uh, mint mocha they could kind of find a way to give one more and one less i think we'd be swinging for the fences here all right Moving on to spicy mocha. Now, they ask you what kind of chocolate you want. I did milk. Should I have done white chocolate? Comment below. We'll, we'll see what I think. Spicy. Oh my goodness. Woo! Y'all remember spicy cinnamon toast crunch? That's what we get here. That's exactly what we're getting here. It is cinnamon. It is straight up cinnamon. It's like a hot tamale. A hot tamale. I'm not a big fan, but I, I, I props. 
props to Caribou Coffee for this. Maybe I'll like it better with, the, with it being chilled. Yeah. I like it a bit more iced. But yeah, that's like drinking coffee and hot tamale together. I, I like the uniqueness. I like the novelty here. It's not a lot of, it's not something a lot of places would be bold enough to say, okay, we gotta do this. We gotta do spicy, spicy, spicy. But caribou, I, I'm very intrigued by it. I, I really gotta give you guys credit where credit is due. Um, I may not love this, but it keeps you awake, it keeps you interested. And the flavor profile is pretty good. Like, it's cinnamon. So, cinnamon's always a pretty good flavor. It's just got a kick to it. So, I'd give that a six. Just because it's not something I could imagine myself just drinking. Like, you know, spicy mountain. Who sits there and like, okay, I can drink lots of this. Or spicy cinnamon toast crunch. Now, someone did order two of these today. Uh, someone behind me. So, very interesting. Now, how I'm supposed to drink this one, I don't know. I really don't because it is starting to pour down, but, well, I guess I can take the lid off and hope for the best here. Make it make a mess where we'll be fine. We'll live life. So, I get to taste the cold foam, which there's plenty of it, before I drink. And then uh, we'll drink, right? Eggnog cold foam. Ooh. Yep, like, like I said, I was going to make a mess. Oh, I got coffee spilling on me from that. Ooh. Not a fan of the coffee I just tasted. I'm still trying to gather an opinion on uh, the, the cold foam. I mean, I can see it, but it's not expressively strong eggnog flavor. Hmm. This tastes kind of weird. I don't think I like their cold brew. I'm not a big fan of the cold brew. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely colored differently, so it's definitely got to be eggnog cold foam. But it's not like a strong eggnog flavor. If there's things out there that have a strong eggnog flavor, this just doesn't. So let me try and mix a little bit. I know you're supposed to let it drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. But, you know... Man, this video, we were making good timing, and then it just, you know, went crazy. Yeah, that falls a bit short. Like, I like the cream a little bit. But the coffee, I, I just don't really enjoy here. It's a bit too bitter. And, you know, it's just not strong. It's not strong enough. I do taste some eggnog. I, I'll, I'll give them credit for that. But, honestly, I don't know. I guess the peppermint mocha was the best of the three. I'm going to have to try the, some, some regular coffee item at some point when they do another uh, seasonal menu. I guess I'll have to grab something on the side there. But... I don't know. I I didn't find myself in love with anything but that cake pop. I really did enjoy the cake pop. But it just felt like for the eggnog, I, mm, I'll give it a four because the coffee is not the worst. And the, the cold foam does have some flavor to it, just not enough. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. And I will be back, uh, but to what extent and when, 
I can't make any guarantees. So what did you think of my first Caribou Coffee review? Did you enjoy it? Will you be tuning in again? Or should I just stick to Starbucks and Dunkin'? I'll be back. Trust me, I'll be back. But I just want to see what y'all think. Anyways, I'll see y'all around. Yee! -yee!